Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at using Ranger in Vim. Now, if you don't know what Ranger is, Ranger is a terminal-based file manager. Now, I know what you're thinking. Matt, you've done like three videos in the last three days on file managers. I'm a little bit obsessed. I can't help it. File managers is the thing I've been nerding on for the last week or so. It's just the way things have gone in my life. No, I don't know what's going on. Um, I've been looking for a way to interact with files in Vim. Now, there are many ways to do this. There's NerdTree, there's ViFM, there's many different little plugins that you can use. My preferred method of interacting with files in the terminal is Ranger, so I was looking for a plugin that would allow me to go through and put Ranger in Vim, basically, so that I, when I want to switch between files or whatever, I can go through and just use Ranger without having to exit Vim and you know come back or whatever. So what we're going to do today is go through and try to install a plugin that allows you to do this. So let's go ahead and jump over. So the plugin that I'm going to be using is called RangerExplorer.Vim. Now I'm going to be using Vim plug in order to do this and um, Let's see if I can get the microphone out of my way just a tad. That's a little bit better. Uh, you probably won't hear the obnoxious breathing noises so bad as if I move it just a little bit farther away. So uh, let's open up a, uh, a terminal here and we'll just go here and I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can uh, see it. Uh, and my uh, version of them is NeoVim. So this should work both ways. Uh, a prerequisite will obviously will be having some, some kind of uh, plugin manager for Vim or NeoVim. I use VimPlug, uh, and we can get into my my uh, NVim config files by going to dot config and NVim, and then uh, we'll cd into plugins and just do an ls here, and then Vim into plugins dot Vim. All right, so. What we need to do is go back to that browser page and copy and paste uh, this here. Okay, and we'll go back to five, and it doesn't really matter where I, I don't have any of these things uh, uh, organized in, a, in any certain way, so I'm just going to just copy and paste that in there, and we'll save this and quit. We'll re-enter it and do plug install, and that should go through and then plug and install the plugin if if we're if we're lucky so it looks like it's done i think i was just sitting there waiting for nothing to happen which is uh good so we'll do just uh quit that and that means we should be able to go through and look and see actually how to use this thing here so um installation and in usage the key, we have to put the the following commands are available on Ranger Launchpad from, so if we do Control O, edit on existing tab, let's go through, I don't know if that's going to end up actually working or not, but we're going to go find out, Control O, no that did nothing, that, that took me to my, uh, to a different buffer, fascinating, okay, so I'm guessing that I'm going to actually have to put those key bindings in. Oops. All right, so we're going to actually put this in there instead. All right, and oops. These are dumb. These are not the right ones, obviously. Uh, okay. Out of that, and then go back to here. We're going to need these things here as well into the general settings one. CD dot general vim general dot vim. So that should be space n. I think my Actually, I think my leader's going to end up being slash. I can't remember. All right, so let's go up here and... Uh, so if we do slash n, 
Yeah, there we go. Look, we have Ranger. Bada bing, bada boom. It just took, you know, ages to do. So this actually just shows all of the things that are in, are in this specific directory. And we can go up to a different directory and... I think if I do Control H, I actually get my uh, hidden file, so we can go back to the config file. And we say we just wanted to open up my DWM config, so we're just going here to suckless here, and then DWM and config.h. Passed it, and just open it, and that's Ranger. So for me, my my leader is slash n. Um. I just did that right. So it should be slash n. Yeah, slash c maybe. Slash n. There we go. Yeah, slash n. Yep. Good. And we'll just go back to so slash n. Yep. And we're using Ranger. That's how. That's as, apparently as easy as it is. Um. I'm not sure if you actually have to go through and put those things that I put in the general and the key bindings, if those aren't just default, but um, I did anyways. It doesn't hurt anything to have those in there, even if they are default key bindings. Uh, and that's basically using Ranger in, uh, in, Vim, in Vim. And it's just a simple plugin, and you can go through and then navigate to your heart's content. And that's just the way it is. So... Uh, real simple, real quick, um, and it's just something that I've needed to do for quite a while, and maybe you'll have learned how to do it yourself. So I prefer Vimplug, but you could do that with Vundle or one of the other ones just as easily, so it uh, should be fairly simple. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. There's plenty of ways you can support the channel. You can support us by subscribing, which is probably the easiest and freest way of doing things. You can also... Uh, hit the notification icon bell after doing that and that will allow you to not miss any of our free and open source content that we cover seven days a week. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the next cast. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.